Ron, the the person that that obviously everybody wants to know about is is Don. And yeah. and before I Who? ask yeah. this question, before we get into this, let, I want to tell you what Don said about you. Yes. Because I interviewed him once, and I interviewed you. I've interviewed you, interviewed you before, and obviously it's TV setting, so it's a little bit different, a little bit more topical. Ours was about hometown hockey. His was about hockey night in Canada. So he comes into breakfast television, and we. You know, he, he does his interview with Kevin and Kevin Frankish actually made me go. He's like, Don's skin looks so supple. And he actually made oh, me yeah. go up and touch Don's face. I remember Andino was uh, and was all like, over that. Too. I just would have said and no. I, 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 was, <laughs> I was terrified. And Don kind of gave me the, it's okay. Like, <laughs> but otherwise I'm not, I don't want to touch Don Cherry's face because yeah. I don't think Don Cherry wants me touching his face, but he was great about it. Um, and he's he very like, proud of it, right? Cocoa butter. Yeah. I'm sure he is told that what you. It is? Yeah, oh, he, oh, he loves. <laughs> yeah, he swears by cocoa butter. What he used to use to heal up his cuts. Yeah, because it doesn't leave scars. That's it. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so that's good to know. So, so anyway, Don was great, and so I take him upstairs. And we have to do a separate interview for a, another channel, and I said, and I had to ask this question. They told me to ask this question, and I didn't want to ask this question because there's certain times producers that ask you to ask the obvious. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so I got to ask. Do do Ron, do you and Ron hang out off the air? And I'm like, like cringing as I ask. And the answer he gave me was so great. It was not, a, not at all. He said, he drinks wine, I drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's where he left it. He hasn't even come uh, within a tenth of the amount of beer I've had in my life. So that's, <laughs> let's correct that. Whoa. Let's start Woo! right there. And there's a, about 20 million Canadians will vouch for me on that one. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, but I do love wine too. And I at least will go outside of the beer only rule that he has. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're dear friends and we do hang out like incessantly when we're on the road doing hockey, but not in the summer. I think we always had the feeling we would ruin it. You know, if we were too much together, we're both intense mm -hmm. in our own little way. And there's been times when we fought, you know, I'm obviously a left winger. He's a right winger. I'm a Catholic. He's a Protestant. We have all kinds of reasons. Not that he's way more uh, religious, I'd say, than I am. Um, uh, but anyway, we, we would fight, uh, and we might spoil a good thing if we spent too much time, uh, together. Sometimes you need a break from I somebody. think, I, but I think, I That's honestly okay. think he misses that, you know, companionship. And I think it bothers, you know, Don's, God, he's 83, you know, so he leads a very, uh, quiet life. He's happy with his goldfish and the TV clicker. Uh, but I think he would love to have, you know, a little more, uh, he, he and his son Tim have a fantastic, and his wife Lou, of course, but his son Tim go to all the minor midget hockey games and scout together, and Don relishes that. Um, you know, he, he's a, we have such a great time together, and, uh, you know, he plays that, you know, Batman and Robin, he, you can't let on what you're sure. about or where you live or any of that stuff. It's, uh, he knows, it's TV, and Don has studied television and movies uh, till you know, the end of time. He knows how the lighting should be. He knows who should sit taller. He knows who should be the wolf with his tail in the air. And I love all that. I just love that it's his true calling, and he and he just so passionate about it that. Uh, but you know, passion can be a dangerous thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's he's we're dear friends, and uh, you know, uh, I just think the world of him. He, you know, I just he he gets such a such a fit comes over him when he thinks about we left wingers that it's uh, <laughs> pinkos. <laughs> yeah, the left wing pinko communists. Uh, yes. It's hard for him to tolerate Swedes. us Pinks. and our altruism. <laughs> uh, but that's okay.